Hey guys, here are five expert AI prompting techniques that I've simplified so that you can get the most accurate and powerful results from any large language model that you're using, whether it's Anthropics Claude or ChatGPT. I'm gonna give you all of these techniques simplified so that you can remember and be able to use them when you're prompting these AIs. Make sure you stick around till the end because I'm gonna share a ChatGPT tip that blew my mind when I discovered it. Okay, first up is persona patterned prompting. Persona patterned prompting, say that five times fast, is simply telling the LLM to act as a certain role. So telling it it's a doctor or something like that. An easier way to remember this is to simply use act as if. You're gonna tell the LLM to act or behave as if it were a specific type of person, process, or object to tailor its answers more accurately to your query. Here's an example. Act as if you are a professional chef and provide a gourmet recipe for a vegetarian dinner. This works because it guides the AI's behavior to respond in a specific way. Next up, chain of thought prompting. This process encourages the model or the AI to generate a step-by-step -step process before arriving at its answer. So instead of having to remember chain of thought prompting every time I sit down, all you're gonna do is use think before and elaborate. For example, if I'm asking the LLM to write a script for this YouTube video, I would say, think before you write the script and elaborate on your process. Just by doing that, it's gonna create a step-by-step -step rundown of its thought process. And this helps it to not hallucinate or make mistakes in its answer. Next up, contextual prompting. This is simply giving the AI background information. It's really that simple. It's basically you feed the AI some context before asking your question. The simplified version of this is to use, here's some background and give the AI your background information. For example, here's some background. I'm planning a trip to Italy and I'm a big fan of art. Can you suggest some must visit museums in Florence? Next, we have zero shot prompting. Zero shot prompting is the opposite of what we just talked about. So it's basically, you're just expecting the AI to infer what you want based solely on the prompt that you put in. You're not giving any background information, you're not giving any examples or any guidance or demonstration. So a simplified version of this is to use, guess what I'm thinking technique. Here's an example. Ask the AI to answer a question or perform a task without providing any examples or prior information. This technique challenges the AI to generate responses based solely on its training data. An example of this would be, guess what I'm thinking? Can you write a short story about a detective in a futuristic city? And in this case, the LLM will have more creative freedom to come up with whatever it wants without being confined to any of the other techniques where you're giving it specific examples or reasoning that you want it to pull from. And for number five, we have multi-step reasoning. Basically, the simple version of this is to use break it down into steps. By breaking it down into manageable steps, this ensures a more thorough and logical response because the AI is having to think through those steps. So you're gonna get a more organized response in the answer. Here's an example. Break it down into steps. How do I create a successful content marketing strategy for a small business? That's it, five expert AI prompting techniques simplify so that you can remember how to use them when you're writing prompts in your day-to-day. -day. And as I promised at the end of the video, I was gonna give you one little ChatGPT hack that's amazing. So you may have noticed in ChatGPT, when you ask for something that's more comprehensive or long, it has a token cutoff. So it will cut off and just stop, sometimes mid-sentence, what it's saying in its response to you. There's a workaround to this and it's so simple. All you have to do is type continue and the LLM or the AI will continue and pick up right where it left off. This can be really helpful if you are trying to get a lot of information back from the LLM and you wondered why it just stopped. It's not broken. It's just running into those tokenization limits.